So in this tutorial of modding SCP Containment Breach, we are going to learn how to import static models into the game. Now most static models are going to be items, for example, and that's what we're going to be doing today is replacing a item model. The item we're going to be replacing today is going to be a syringe. So uh, right now I have Blender version 2.8 up. This came out a while ago, a few years back. And this is needed in order to import the model into the game. So I'll provide links to all the softwares I use. So this is going to be the page where you get the version 2.8. My scroll down is going to be right here. Be sure to download that. Once you click on that, it should bring up all this. If, you have, if you're running on a Windows system, be sure to download the Blender 2.8 MSI. Don't I wouldn't recommend downloading the zip because the zip could unextract yourself and then it's a whole pain in the ass. So don't worry about that. Just download the MSI. So once you get that downloaded and opened up, you're going to want to go to GitHub. And this will also be in the the, the uh, description. This is gonna be for a Blitz 3D plugin for Blender. This is what we needed. So what you want to do is once you get to here, don't worry about all this. Go to code, download zip. And the most important thing is do not unzip this whatsoever. Don't do anything to this. Just download, download the zip and be sure to save it somewhere on your desktop. Don't keep it in your downloads folder because for some reason Blender 2.8 can't access the download folder that easily. So I recommend making a... a unique folder to that specific zip. So what we're, we're gonna do is download the zip and we're gonna extract this to somewhere on my desktop. I'm gonna make a new folder. We'll call this, yeah, we'll just call it that. Boom, okay. And it should be extracted that. So once you get that extracted to your desktop, go back to Blender, go to Edit, Preferences. Now, once you get the add-ons right here, press install and then go to desktop and find that folder. So like I said, don't unzip this or it won't work. Click on that, install. Oh, hold on, make sure, go back, go back. Okay, install add-on from file, should work. Well, it's 3D, I already have it. So if, yeah, once you do that, Search Blitz 3D and make sure this is uh, enabled. If it's off like this, it means it's not on. So be sure to turn it on or else you won't see it. So once you get that all set up, Blender is ready to go for you. Uh, the next software you want, want to install is the software called Fragmotion, also called Fragmosoft. So right here, I'll also provide this in the uh, description. Uh, it looks old and kind of sketchy, I understand that, but it is 100% safe, just don't download it from anywhere else, because a lot of the time it has viruses. So, once you click download, be sure to install the latest version, and just a heads up, you get a free 7 day trial, you don't have to spend any money whatsoever. However, once a, a trial expires, you can't open any Blitz 3D folders or files for some reason. You have to renew it. Uh, this software is actually pretty unique because here I want to install that because in order to renew your subscription to or not subscription but your trial, you have to type in uh, a scripture of some sort to renew it. Once you get it all typed out, it renew it and you're ready to go. So once you have this installed and get it all set up, this is what you'll see. Of course, it might show up like a pop-up showing a tutorial on how to use this program. Uh, Left-click, you'll be able to pan around. Scroll will let you zoom in. So, the model we're going to be installing today, or replacing, is a syringe, like I said. And here is the model I'm replacing. Uh, the website is called Sketchfab. You can find all sorts of free models to use on here. Uh, just a lot of the time, don't claim models as your own because, well, that's just bad, bad practice. And plus, these people put a lot of effort into these models. 
So, as you can see, this is the base color. This is what the syringe will look like in game. And I'll show you a little trick we can do to make this a little bit better. So, once you get to here, be sure to you have to sign up and log in through Sketchfab first, but uh, you can easily do that by yourself. Uh, so, once you get through here, you have FBX and all these other file formats. Don't uh, install these. These are pretty much useless for what we're doing. We just need to install the FBX. So be sure to click download. And you can unzip this perfectly fine. So what we're going to do is that we are going to do what we did with the Blitz 3D file. Or a plugin. And we're going to make a uh, folder for it. So I'm just going to call this new model because, well, it's a new model. And we're going to extract that to there. I click File, Import. I'm going to find FBX. I go to Desktop, New Model. Source will have the model itself. The textures will have the textures. It's pretty understandable. And once you get that, click on FBX. So some models will be kind of small. And so if we uh, actually import the Blitz 3D file, which we'll find that real quick, desktop, graphics, items, where syringe. As you can see, the syringe is a lot bigger. Uh, now you also might be noticing how like blocky this looks. If you just click on it, uh, left click and click shade smooth, it smooths it out a bit. But we're just gonna use this as a reference. So we're gonna hide that real quick find the syringe we wanted to use and we're going to increase the size so make sure you're on this orange block right here and increase the scale so i'm just going to do one for each one uh, uh why are you What in the world? Ah, uh, I see what they did here. So, this person kind of did a little goofy move and decided to be a little bit lazy with it. So, what we're going to do is... We're gonna make that four and make this one. Yeah, maybe five. So if we do Alt H, oh, that'll unhide the model. As we can see, not only is this facing the wrong way, it's also not big enough. So what we're gonna do is click on the syringe again, press H to hide it, so we can see our new syringe, and we're gonna increase the size a bit more. Two. Two, six, and we're gonna do four, four, and then we're gonna do eight. Eh, actually, we do twenty. So it's just it's just a matter matter of fact of just trying to find the right uh, size that we want for these models. So we're going to press Alt H again. Now we can see it's way too big. So we're going to decrease the size. And I'm actually going to re rotate this real quick. We're going to do 180. As you can see, not only is it too big, it's also kind of off. So we'll keep that centered. And we'll try our best to keep this about the same. We'll also, just to be safe, yeah, about that. So I'll call that good. Uh, I'm gonna delete that. Now, what I'm gonna do with this model is I'm going to first check its UV map. That's actually not bad, that looks pretty good. Good job. Uh, so 
what I'm going to do is select oh select these. Also, this allows you to do face selections because if this is on, I can only select the actual vertices. This allows me to select the faces. So we're going to do is select this to where uh, the whole entire uh, barrel of the syringe is selected. So uh, be sure to press shift to select more than one face. That way you can do more at a time. But I'm going to select this and I'm going to do a, a left click separate by selection. So what this does is it separates this from this stuff. There's a reason why I'm doing this. So once we get this like that, I'm going to select all of it by pressing A, File, Export. Now we're going to do Blitz 3D. And we're just going to call this New Model Test. And then we're going to do this, go back to here, export Blitz 3D. Now you're going to want to go to your Frag Motion software. File, open, go back to desktop, and then we're going to get your Blitz 3D file, which is right here. So here's the model in Frag Motion. So you might be wondering, okay, how exactly do I texture this? Now, as we can see, we have two different groups. This is a separated group. Here is the other group. And we're just delete that real quick. So we're gonna go to here, left click, new texture. Then left click on it again, open texture. So now you wanna find your textures for your model which it would be right here. Now, while well, left click it again, create material using texture. So now the software can detect this texture. So once you get one, of, you want to select one of these. I'm going to select this one first. Go to texture, assign material to selection, and find your texture, which would be right here. Click OK. Now, if we were to select this one right here, as you can see, this is textured right here, or at least this part is. Next, we're gonna do the same thing with this, texture, assign material, texture, bada boom, bada bing. So now if we do select faces with no material, we can see that everything is now textured. Now, for those who might be wondering why exactly did I uh, separate this model part with this? Well, for the syringe, I want to make this little part a little bit clear. So what we're going to do is select. Uh, oop, I did a goof. I need to make another texture, you see. So we're going to open the same texture real quick. I'm going to call this uh, tube. And create material. I'm going to do an assign. Sign. There we go. And so. With the second texture, which is right here, we get all this. Now, once we get to here, this is where it's very important to keep note the shininess of the model. Now, in the game, for example, some models will be kind of uh, glary, glossy, shiny. Like, for example, SCP-106 or an SCP-939, their shininess level is very high. Uh, D classes close are set to 10, for example. That would, they're a bit rougher. For this, I'm just going to set this to 20. For both. Now, here is where I was talking about the transparency. So, if I were to increase this, as you can see, if I deselect it, this part is now transparent. So I was going to get this up to about something I like. Nah, I'll call that good. And so, look at that, transparent. So once you get your model all textured in Fragmotion, you want to do the file, 
export blitz 3d next i'm gonna go to your games folder here's mine now go to graphics since this is an item i want to go to items and since this is, this is a syringe we're gonna to go to the syringe as you can see this is a blitz 3d file which will make sure we have the blitz 3d file selected next you want to name it exactly the same file name so since that is called syringe we're going to call this syringe blitz 3d now it is good practice to put your actual texture files into the game's graphics folder itself but for this tutorial, I'm just going to show how to import the models only. Once I explain how to do not only animations next and uh, custom rooms, I'm going to show you how to export it to be a usable mod, which I do that later on. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to do aesthetic models. So once we got that exported, we can get out of this. Find your games folder, which is right, which mine is right here. Next, you're going to open it. And then you can go ahead and run it. Now mine's already modded a bit, so... Just a heads up. As you can see, we're in. I'm going to do a quick shut the fuck up command. Thank you. And then we're going to open our console. Spawn item. I think I suppose syringe like that. Yep. And there's a syringe. As you can see, the transparency is there. Like we put it in frag motion. And it works as normal syringe giving us extra stamina. And that is a basic tutorial on how to import a static model into a speed containment breach. Now for different models, like a med kit, you can find a med kit on Sketchfab, do the same process and making sure the model size is like the originals and then importing to frag motion, texturing it, exporting it as the same file name as the previous model that you're wanting to replace and then so on and so forth. And that is how you do it.